Learn about the philosophy behind wooden camera rigging solutions and camera accessories. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B and H and CVP. Hi guys, this is Nino from Synity here at NAB 2022 at the Creative Solutions, not booth, but suite. And uh, I'm here at Wooden Camera to talk with Matt about, well, actually a lot of things like the philosophy. But how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Uh, it's great to be back at a trade show after such a long departure from them. Um, it's good to see a lot of faces I haven't seen in a long time. And we have some new stuff to show off that I haven't been able to yet in person because Wooden Camera is very touch and try. So this has been a great opportunity for us. Let's talk a little bit about the philosophy of Wooden Camera. I mean, a lot of people say that your stuff is expensive mm -hmm. uh, because, of course, there's a lot of people making, a lot of companies making cages now, camera accessories where, you know, like when you were founded 10 years ago, you were one of the first ones to do proper stuff for cameras, which were then probably not even regarded uh, many of them, you know, professional, but then, you know, that changed. But your stuff is very sturdy and it's very well thought out, but what's the real philosophy behind wooden camera? The philosophy I would say behind wooden camera is ease of use. So not only is it the quality, which is apparent, especially lately, because wooden cameras expanded and grown, we've actually had some of the best past couple of years we've ever had. But along with the quality, I'd say ties right into ease of use. When you're on set, you don't want to be struggling with your rigging. You don't want to be struggling with your gear. You leave that to figuring out the camera. That's supposed to be the complicated thing. This is supposed to make your life easier. It's a solution. It, uh, creative Solutions is part of our name. So, you know, when you're putting the camera on tripod, you want to know clearly which way it's going to go. You want things to tie down without struggling with it. You don't need things to fall apart after two shoots. Um, and you, you need to have solutions to every problem. So when you're on set and you run into an issue or a problem and you, and you need to think around it creatively, Wooden Camera helps you do that because a lot of our products do many different things at the same time, kind of like a bunch of Swiss Army knives, so to speak. For example, our, our Ultra Arms right here, such as this one attached to the small HD monitor here, you can swap the quarter 20 and 3.8 pins in and out. You don't have to go grab a whole new arm. With this new product, the Ultra QR monitor mount, you can pull off the VESA portion of it and have an Arca Swiss portion for your small HD production field monitor without having to think about it. If you want a VESA and you want it secure, if you don't, you slide it on, quick release right off the back. Um, the thing is, we like lots of quick releases. We like being able to put the camera wherever you need it to go without having to struggle, think, tie things down lots of ways to rig without dealing with a thousand different screws and things when you put them together they'll stay together so you're not you, you don't have a lot of especially within the past couple of years we've really enhanced how everything fits together nice and neatly and tight so I would say ease of use being able to not think about your rigging uh, in a way that you don't have to and to solve uh, problems on set um, creatively and easily. Uh, interestingly, I mean, we talked to a lot of camera manufacturers and they really seem to like your stuff as well. Whereas sometimes, you know, like, I mean, some other stuff doesn't fit as neatly, I guess. Um, you know, let's talk about cages in general. I mean, cages, a few years ago, we didn't have cages particular for each camera model. That seemed to have changed. Now there's, there's really from all kinds of manufacturers different cages that really are made for specific cameras. Why do you think that happened? Why do you think it makes sense? I mean, you guys also make cages for different camera models now. So there are a lot of cages for the higher end cinema cameras. I think that's been around for quite some time, but especially when DSLRs really took off, you know, the, they are made for photographers, they are made for videographers, but when you want to get into cinema, you're going to need more mounting points. You're going to need more handles. You're going to need more ways to get your shot creatively. So if you make a cage and accessories all the way down to uh, a seven R2 or a five D that way you can take your small uh, rig and, and level it up, so to speak, make it ready to shoot a bigger production, higher uh, production value, so to speak, Speak, um, and to be able to creatively think outside the box to make any camera achieve your vision. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, uh, this is a good example. I think that's a Black Magic, uh, the 6K, 6K Pro. Pro. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a locking, like an HDMI lock. One of the mm -hmm. biggest problems we have with most of the cameras is that the HDMI, of course, is not a port that was made for production, right? I mean, 
No, HDMIs originally were supposed to sit behind your TV, but a lot of DSLRs and smaller cameras uh, have HDMI as opposed to SDI. So, you know, we have to think around these problems to level up our game. So, you know, we have the HDMI lock to keep it from popping out, and the HDMI lock with some simple screws is removable if you don't need it. Where do you think the journey will go with all this rigging stuff? I mean, we've, we almost like... We have everything we need now. A few years ago, like ah, oh, good, you know, like there was a lot of uncertainty in a way. You needed to rig up cameras. You didn't have the right parts. But it seems there seems to be everything we need right now. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, in terms of cameras, every camera is amazing, right? Every camera you pick up mm -hmm. makes amazing images. It really doesn't matter anymore. It comes down to the talent and, and so on. But where does that leave companies like yours? You know, like where. When everything is there, where, where, where is there still room to innovate with mechanical things, I wonder? I think it comes down to simplifying it, because when you look at rigging and you look at cinema accessories, sometimes it just looks like a pile of brackets, a pile of screws. You look at Wooden Camera's website, there's a ton of SKUs, a ton of products, and you try to think, how is this going to go together, how is this going to fit? Well, when we simplify things or combine ideas, just make it easier and easier and easier easier to uh, put together, easier to break down. Um, sometimes you don't even need to. Um, for example, the VESA monitor mount, we added the friction ball mount on there to be able to position it 360 degrees, tighten it down, and not have to play with it so much. And with the Arca Swiss attachment, you can slide it off without having to sit there screwing it in. I think it's combining ideas, simplifying ideas, and making it more accessible to people who aren't used to this kind of thing. So how do you guys come up with ideas? I mean, is this, you know, like you have an engineer sitting in a room just figuring things out by himself, or do you react to questions of people and requests? I mean, how, you know, like every company works differently, so I'm just curious to hear. Well, Dominic, who designs our, our products, has been creating these for uh, pretty much his whole career. So he's he's already pretty dialed into what needs are. But we also listen to a lot of feedback, uh, which is what these shows are great for. Uh, I have no problem hearing feedback on anything because it only makes us better. But also, our company, what I really like about it is a lot of us came from working on set. A lot of us have had careers all the way to the top with set experience. So we know when you're going to need something, how you're going to need it, and then we'll think back to our previous experience on when we ran into problems. We listen to ACs, we listen to DPs, um, and we listen to feedback. But also I think we have a vast amount of experience in our company designing and using the products that I think really puts us ahead. Let's talk about pricing availability a little bit. We know availability is something, you know, yeah. People ask about a lot because yeah. of supply chain issues, but uh, what's the price of this going to be, for example, and you know, can people order it right now? The Ultra QR monitor mounts, the price of $250. You can order it now. Um, you can look at our website to see lead times. Uh, we have, when you visit a product, it will say how long it's going to take to ship. So it should be easy to understand if you're ever uh, concerned. We have a chat function. You can ask what time it is to ship on our site. Um, the Ultra Arm, we have an Ultra Arm customizer on our website, which is very cool because an Ultra Arm, you'll have a quarter, 20, or 3 eighths, but you'll also have clamps, NATO rails, different sized arms, and when you customize, you'll see your price and it'll line it out for you. So you can customize your arm to ship to you however you want it. And, and you guys ship directly? Or we, we ship directly. So we, we aside from our reseller network, we ship directly and you can, you can order online and on Amazon. Okay. Thank you, Matt. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from NAB 2022, from the show floor, from meeting rooms like this one. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.